Giorgi. The truth about sport, now hold on, make that life, is that there are going to be highs and there are going to be lows. Fact is, avoiding the latter is, well, unavoidable. Not panicking in the face of adversity requires discipline and calm, and sometimes that is a big ask. Now, winning the biggest title of your career is certainly a high point. Camila Georgie did just that with her big title last year in Montreal. But the amount of victories she has produced since then are, well, yeah, low. Having lost in the first round of nine of her last 11 events. At this point, there is nowhere else to go but up. Ila Tomjanovic is hoping that her year full of lows is headed up also. Her best result, quarterfinals of Istanbul, came in her ninth event this season. The only time she has won back-to-back -back matches. It's safe to say she's still searching for something to give her season a lift. Things have been tough of late for these two women, and here they are, ready to battle. And we can guarantee this. One of them will once again feel the charge of adrenaline with a victory tonight. Hungry for victories, which have come at a premium in 2022 for both women, taking the court in the final match of day one from the Italian Open here on center court. Camilla Giorgi, one of five Italians to begin in the main draw, hoping she can get some home support and taking on Ila Tomjanovic, as we say. Help. To me, is that they're not far from their highest ranking, both of them. Yeah. So you know, in a in a way, it's not like you know, it's the end of the world. They just. Uh, you know, need some W, I mean, one or the other, it doesn't matter who it is, but one is going to be obviously happier than the other, but they're pretty much 50-50 uh, in this match. I would say maybe 60-40, a little bit for uh, Tomanovic. Yes, it's Camilla Giorgi, the Italian, whose ranking currently matches her age, which also is the 30th of December when she celebrates said birthday. It's been a struggle that has been epic so far this year. A rare commodity for the Italians since you see their three titles to her credit, the last one coming in Montreal, and it hasn't been any better here at home in Rome. One and four record overall. The history here has been much like her 2022 season. Only win in her debut eight years ago. Yeah, she's uh, someone who's struggled to play at home, no doubt, uh, except when she plays <laughs> in the Belgian King Cup and the beating the French uh, this year, not long ago in April. So That sounds like a sticking point. Yeah, well, a little bit for me, but <laughs> hey. But uh, this lady here, 29 years old, ranking here, for what, as I mentioned, she's only three spots away from his ranking. Yeah, she's been as high as top, number 38 in the top 40. Now she's one spot outside of it. By the way, 29 and two days as she celebrated her birthday on Saturday. But here it is, the case for Tom Yanovich. She herself, one quarterfinal showing in Istanbul. That came two events ago, the ninth of the year for her. The only time she's won a match after she won another match. And she hasn't fared much better here in Rome either. She has a two and four record overall. Now, for Georgie and the suffering that she's had over the last couple of, well, months to say the least, she does have one caveat. She's faced Tom Yanovich before. She's beaten. Yeah, she's up 2-0 on those head to head. And last time they played was it's Sydney, Georgie winning 6-3, 6-3. Actually, no, that is not right. It was 2021. Well, no, one is played. a qualifying result in Eastbourne last year, which technically is not tour level. So you're right, 2-0, um, but yeah, this is tour level. Yeah, tour level 2019. So, yeah, I mean, you know, they didn't, never played on, on clay, so it's, it's a new thing for both of them to play each other on this surface. Graham Bly, again, I mean, she's been on the chair twice today with us. Thanks, uh, thanks to her, because she's one of the greatest. And coming from Madrid to Rome, she's got that cushy gig. Yeah, we'll see how it fares with the first meeting on clay after Georgie took both sets on grass and hard courts. It had been a fantastic day in the sense that there was supposed to be a lot of rain, and it never showed up. That means it looks as if...